Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about the journal and the middle terms of binomial expansion. So as you have seen in my previous lectures that in the expansion of a plus b raised to power n, the first term is nc0 a raised to power n. Second term, this is first term. This is second term I am writing here. The second term is nc1 a raised to power n minus 1 b raised to power 1. So, so on like third term is nc2 a raised to power n minus 2 b raised to power 2. So, students as you have seen that in the first term the coefficient is nc0. And in the second term, the coefficient is nc1 and in the third term, it is nc2. So now I am writing the formula for a journal term. Let's say this is a tth term. Okay, means it is the rth term. So it is the formula for this is ncr a raised to power n minus r b raised to power r. Okay, so the formula for a journal r plus 1th term is so whenever you are asked directly to find out let's say the 5th term or your 6th term so this is the formula for r plus 1th term of binomial expansion. Okay, so this is the journal term formula. Okay, so similarly in this way you can also find out the middle term let's say first case when the num n is even okay so the number of terms in the expansion as you know is n plus 1 since n is even and n plus 1 is then odd it will be odd so therefore the middle term will be n plus 1 plus 1 by 2 th term okay that is n by 2 plus 1 th term is middle term it is in the case when n is even now the second case when n is odd so n plus 1 is even in that case okay so there will be two middle terms in case when n is odd. So the two middle terms are n plus 1 by 2th term and n plus 1 by 2 plus 1th term. Okay, let's say n is 17. So student, you can use your simply math is that there will be two terms. One will be 9. Okay, that is 17 plus 1 by 2 is 9 and 1 will be the 10th term. So as you can also check 1, 2, 3, 4 means there will be 18 terms in the expansion. So 18 by 2 one is the 9th term and the another one is the 10th term. So these are the two middle terms. Okay. So basis on that there will be a lot of questions asked in the exam. Okay. So directly to find out this term of the expansion. So let's discuss one question based on this. So student, we are given a question in which we have to find out the term A where we are also given a condition that the 17th and 18th term of this expansion is equal. So this is A. Okay, so 2 plus A to power 50. So to find out the 17th term okay means t17 i can use the formula which is nc16 2 raised to power n minus 16 which is 34 and a raised to power 16 so this is the 17th term and t18 will be nc17 2 raised to power 50 minus 17 is 33 and a raised to power 17 so n is we can put the value of n and both these terms we are given the equal so equation 1 and 2 are equal so 50 c 16 2 raised to power 34 a raised to power 16 is equals to 50 c 17 
टू रेज टू पार थर्टी थ्री ए रेज टू पार सेवेंटी सो फिफ्टी सी सिक्सटीन बाय फिफ्टी सी सेवेंटीन इंटू टू रेज टू पार थर्टी फोर बाय टू रेज टू पार थर्टी थ्री इक्वल ए रेज टू पार सेवेंटीन बाय ए रेज टू पार सिक्सटीन सो वट वी आर गेटिंग इज ए इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी सी सिक्सटीन अपॉन फिफ्टी सी सेवेंटीन इंटू टू इट वॉज टू रेज टू पार थर्टी थ्री एंड टू रेज टू पार फोर्टी थ्री हेयर सो वट वी आर लेफ्ट विद स्टूडेंट इज आफ्टर सोल्विंग दिस एज यू नो द formula for this is 50 into 33 into 17 factorial so these are all the factorial terms into 2 so 50 factorial 50 factorial cancel out so this is 17 by 34 into 2 so we are left with 1 so the value of a is 1 student okay so directly here i am using the formula of you can say the tth term or you can say the r plus 1th term okay so if uh, there is any question in the exam i hope now you guys can easily solve this uh, and also stay tuned for next lecture on some more questions based on uh, rth term and the middle -th term okay means the any general term thank you students happy learning